It's been six years since my world came crashing down. I was married for eight years, and everything seemed perfect, at least from the outside. We had built a life together, and I truly believed he was my soulmate. But everything changed when I found out my husband was cheating on me with the last person I ever expected, my sister. The betrayal was like a knife to the heart. I can still remember the day I found out. I came across some messages that left no room for doubt. The two people I trusted most in this world had been having an affair behind my back for months. My sister, my own flesh and blood, and the man I planned to spend the rest of my life with had destroyed everything. The pain was unbearable and I cut them both out of my life completely. I filed for divorce immediately. My sister and I haven't spoken since. My family was torn apart. My parents were devastated and didn't know how to navigate the mess. I moved away, changed jobs, and slowly started rebuilding my life. It wasn't easy, but time and therapy helped. I eventually found peace and moved on. So imagine my shock when, after all these years, I received an email from him. The subject line simply read, I'm sorry. I stared at my screen for what felt like forever before opening it. The email was long and filled with regret. He admitted that what he did was inexcusable and that he's lived with guilt every day since. He talked about how he had ruined his life and how he's tried to reach out to my sister, but she's also cut him off. Apparently, their relationship didn't last long after the affair was exposed. He went on about how he's been in therapy and wanted to make amends for all the pain he caused. He said he doesn't expect forgiveness, but wanted me to know that he's genuinely sorry and that he's finally realized the extent of the damage he did. The email ended with him saying he hopes I'm happy and that he's wishing me the best. I didn't know how to feel. A part of me wanted to reply and let him know just how much he destroyed me, how I cried myself to sleep for months how I had to rebuild my trust in people from scratch. But another part of me just felt nothing. It's been six years. I've moved on, and this apology felt too little, too late. It wasn't closure I needed. I gave that to myself a long time ago. After thinking about it, I decided not to respond. His guilt and his journey are his to deal with, not mine. I've built a life I'm proud of, surrounded by people who truly care about me. I'm no longer the broken person I was when I discovered the affair. The email reminded me of how far I've come, and I refuse to let that darkness back in. Sometimes, the best response is no response at all. 